Hey everybody, Jeff Bezos here from the Amazon team. I'm currently in space orbiting Earth in my spaceship fueled by, well, copious amounts of fiat money, uh, petrol dollars if you will. And let me just say, all of you look like good little worker ants from up here. Uh, some of you aren't Amazon employees uh, yet. Uh, but we're working on that. Uh, most U.S. politicians are informal Amazon workers already, so we'll formalize those pesky laws and uh, company policies soon enough. Um, some of you have asked why uh, I should go to space rather than use my insane amounts of wealth to feed uh, the hungry or um, give homes to the homeless, and I'd ask uh, why doesn't the government do the same thing? Uh, they should be uh, feeding and paying people, uh, not me, their own, um, employer, their employer. And, and you know, I really do appreciate everything. I, I wouldn't be here without all of you working hard for me in those Amazon factories or Twitch streams where you're playing video games for a few dollars or Whole Foods. All of you individually made this possible. Individually, not unionized, remember that. So if you see another warehouse worker talking to another warehouse worker, report them to your drone supervisor. Uh, open communication is the first step to unionization or uh, plotting to escape the warehouse. And uh, we, we can't have that. We will always send those workers to the real Amazon jungle hidden under each Amazon warehouse. Uh, in this episode of the Fear Fiction Podcast, the Fear Fiction wages read a creepypasta from No Sleep about the Amazon and react to it with their typical critiques. And they discuss the real horrors of working in one of our wonderful uh, Amazon warehouses and uh, many more fun things. Uh, we drone strike some whales, uh, the Bezos boys drop, and we search for nooses on Amazon. Welcome to the Fear Fiction Podcast. Fear Fic is the term for short horror fiction, mostly posted on the web. It includes any and all related subgenres. Join three assholes talking basement goo slime beast, inebriated interstellar traveler abysme, and irritable ghostly man whore dead palette as they read all stories horror and internet related, paragraph by paragraph, and bullshit while they do it. From adolescent revenge fantasies to subtle postmodern narratives about real life events and everything in between, they read it and critique. You better believe it. Kick it to the cold open, white boy. Amazon apologizes for denying that its drivers pee in bottles. Huh. Wait, it. Read that again? Amazon apologizes for denying oh, that see. its okay. drivers pee in bottles. So they denied I mean, it. That was a lie. Now they're apologizing for lying. I gotcha. Yes. Don't all truck drivers pee in bottles at some point. Not that we shouldn't be criticizing Amazon, but that's like Amazon denies or apologizes for denying that its truck drivers drive really long hours. <laughs> its truck all... drivers breathe oxygen. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, what? you know, the uh, the peeing in in jars thing in upon itself isolated incident, just isolated incident. Amazon increases reward to fifty thousand dollars for info on nooses in warehouse. Wow. Okay. Uh, are, are they, they're like shipping them or what? <laughs> Amazon desperately trying to get to the bottom of how a bunch of nooses mysteriously appeared at one of its warehouses under construction in Connecticut. The e-commerce giant kicked in another twenty-five k to double the initial twenty-five k put up by developer. Blah blah blah. For any information about the menacing discovery on construction site. So okay, that. I thought it was going to be like in one of their active warehouses, but it's one that's currently under construction. Hmm. Okay, that changes things slightly, but not that much. Uh, I have horror stories from uh, people who work at Amazon. They're just <laughs> first. They're off. just peeing through nooses. They're just doing all sorts of shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 the two components so far. They're lassoing 
and jars of tea with nooses. Apparently, it's just like unlivable. Like you just go to an, a place and and stand there and move boxes constantly for eight hours, and like apparently the caliber of person who works there is just I- interesting. Hmm. Mm. Messed you guys up. Have... Messed up. You're saying um, that uh, I know of a. Um, that there is just a habit of certain people from a certain country giving themselves uh, enemas with milk jugs. I, what? At yeah, Amazon? So, <laughs> at Amazon. Okay. They're not Amazonian, if, you, if you're wondering. So that's just like a thing where their bathrooms are getting destroyed at one of our local warehouses, because that keeps happening. Keep giving yourself water enemas with used milk jugs. So Amazon is both the creator of our future dystopia, but also is itself a current dystopia. It's basically the uh, Costco from Idiocracy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Costco. I love you. For anybody who hasn't seen that, just the mega, gigantic, tremendous place full of crap nobody needs. And yeah. If you haven't seen Idiocracy, watch it right now. Yeah. Pause this podcast and go watch it. Watch it's, our it's... review of Idiocracy coming to the Fear Fick Flicks. <laughs> Yeah, Idiocracy, you know, well the worst story at this point. Idiocracy, like it's to the point where parts of it are outdated. Yeah, <laughs> Idiocracy, it's alarming. Idiocracy yeah. is the outlandish tale of a president who used to be uh, in professional wrestling. And <laughs> wait a minute, <laughs> outdated. Yeah. <laughs> so I just, uh, you know, what w- what kind of horror stories can we get into with Amazon? You guys want to read No Sleep? Everything of like even the recent rash of like PR saving maneuvers of quick put YouTube ads that say uh, of re- purely fake people saying I love working at Amazon for fifteen dollars <laughs> an hour. You're not fooling anybody. This ball yeah. works at Amazon. He's real. Hello, Amazon <laughs> is great. I love it here. Yeah, you could bet he's never peed in a bottle. I don't pee, so no. <laughs> Department pee. So, yeah, so we're reading... Hello, I have a newt. (laughs) (laughs) I have a newt. I like the idea... For Ball, the newt is just a swing. Right, Ball has no context, so he just rolls up and he goes, I have a newt. (laughs) And the pretty's like, no! He's like, ah! Ball, Ball? what have you got? A noose! No! (laughs) Ball gets on noose. I am Bully Ball. God damn it. (laughs) Uh, he thinks it's tech ball time. Oh, yeah. that's so cute. Oh, uh. <laughs> so anyway, I looked for I, while while we were talking about this, I looked for pictures of the nooses. There's one picture, but I'd like to see the other ones because it's like that one pretty. That one's pretty. Uh, like there's no other reason for that to be hanging there. It's just from a steel beam. It's not a Jesus. quote unquote door pole. It's not a quote unquote you know anything else. It's just literally well, just hanging suspended from for no reason in the middle of the room. Goddamn news expert over here, slime beast. Well, they had a they had a thing with uh. You watch it. Listen, NASCAR. everybody. If you oh, if you if you think that slime beast knows a lot about nooses because he's a racist and he's into <laughs> lynching people, no, he just watches a lot of documentaries and right. is a news collector. Right, mm-hmm. a news a newsologist essentially. <laughs> a nuisance. Uh, so I was driving over the Noose River recently, which is an actual river here. Um. But yeah, they had a thing with like NASCAR where there was like somebody had tied a door pole and they were like, it's a noose. And the person was like, or I guess they didn't know who did it. But NASCAR was like, no, no, it's just somebody tied the end of the rope so they could pull it down. No, wait, (laughs) wait, no. That would that would be a very embarrassing way to go if you tried to hang yourself on the door pole. But like it just falls down and then the door comes down and then crushes you. He tried to hang himself from the door pole and he ended up beheading himself with the door. Terrible. Uh, It worked, I guess. He was just trying uh, to get some big red gum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he's uh, pulling up. Dale Earnhardt Jr. pulling up in the uh, Mighty Noose. Mighty Noose truck. <laughs> so, guys, how have we gone through this whole discussion without mentioning Kyle Klansman or whatever it was? <laughs> Keith Klansman? Keith <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Keith Klansman. <laughs> Keith Klansman would never do something as embarrassing as driving the Mighty Noose truck. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why is it that that's what I went to for for a brand <laughs> like a PR like a you know listen mom and pop news shops God they, damn they, it. Can't, they won't cut it these days you got to go get the mighty news mightynews.com 
wholesale retailer. I like I like the idea. There's a company. It says it's called Mighty Noose in big letters, and in italics below that, in quotation marks, also it says Door Pulls. <laughs> <laughs> Family owned business, 1975. Yeah, 19- wait, that's well, a bit late. To okay, well, <laughs> that's a bit late. <laughs> it's just like you're just yeah, getting so, on the news uh, train right then, you know, like. We uh we actually didn't used to call them door pulls, but you know the original reason we were manufacturing these there was some there was some litigation, um some new laws passed about you know regulating how to use them. so now they're door pulls. Hmm. I like that there was one in the Cracker Barrel too where they had like the the electrical cord for some device they had up on the wall mm-hmm. was like tied into a noose shape and you know that blew up on you know the internet and. Cracker Barrel was like, it's an unused antique that was never unwrapped. That's how they wrapped it. That's how they wrapped it. <laughs> please, please, no. Back in my day, we used to call them Lynch fixtures, but uh, yeah. that's not the PC anymore. God damn it, guys! Are we um, in current year? Are we actually canceling nooses? <laughs> Come on, where will it end? <laughs> God damn it! You know where you can get nooses. Amazon. Amazon, yeah. apparently. Yeah. I would not <laughs> doubt that you could buy a noose on Amazon somehow, somewhere. I feel like I'm being it. Actually, I'm not going to do that on this laptop. <laughs> Hello, FBI. <laughs> <laughs> noose. <laughs> Incognito mode. Just search. I got it. Just search door pulls. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's. That's the dog whistle now. No, no, I'm getting, I'm getting some um, dog tethers. Oh, Interesting. Oh. Ooh, nipple. Oh, you're n- trying to hang their dogs. <laughs> uh, I'm getting like a nipple cincher, a nipple noose oh, nipple uh, being noose. demonstrated. Oh. Yeah, okay. it's like, it's like, um, like jewelry for your nipple that you oh. like. <laughs> oh. It's like a bolo tie, but for your nipple. Welcome. So it's a- Sex thing. People are just getting off in the Amazon warehouses. Welcome, welcome to the realm of fantasy. Welcome to the kingdom. My name is Hieronymus Nipplenoose. <laughs> God damn it! Well, we have news. A Joe News Western Book One. Mm. Oh God, Joe News. Oh God, what the fuck. Oh my God. The, oh, well, I see another one here. Joe News versus uh, Keith Klansman. <laughs> It's like the Batman v Superman of the genre. We're getting so we're getting some more like rope, like natural thick rope, and then we're getting a lot of these little nipple nooses. What the fuck? Right. That's just I don't. In the heat of the moment, you know, a lot of things go, but I can't imagine ever saying, "Oh yeah, get the nipple nooses. It's going to be that kind of night." Like, <laughs> damn it. Uh, nipple I, clamps. I get it. Nipple nooses. That's just like you have to stop and think about it, and at that point, you're kind of stalling. <sighs> Nipple clamps, yeah. Nipple nooses, no. That's our. No. We're putting our foot down on this podcast. That's but, our T-shirt. Yeah. Nipple clamps, yes. Nipple nooses, no. No, no noose Back. is good news. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Back in my day, nooses were used for wholesome things. We would get the whole family together. It wasn't no sex thing. Get the whole family together. Find a great tall tree and pee through it. Yep. And pee through the noose. Yep. They That's called it really cornhole. Good. What? <laughs> Oh man, so I'm on I'm on vacation currently and uh, in Tampa, I was Florida. In Tampa, Florida. No, no. <laughs> if I was, uh shit would be wild right now because they just won the NHL Stanley Cup. Those and I was just sitting yeah, imagine winning the, the the Stanley Ice Cup in Florida. Yep. Kinda weird. Kinda weird. They lift um, up the cup, it was... immediately melts. <laughs> So I'm traveling right now, and I was at an airport. The Cornhole International Championship was on, and <laughs> it's it's still, like, segregated by gender, which is funny to me because yeah. without getting too political, like, okay, running, yeah, I can see that. Cornhole? <laughs> What what exactly is the difference? I think that's the same exact like distance from whoever's tossing the beanbag. Keith Klansman, world champion cornholer duo, <laughs> is just like, listen, the women uh, competing with us. I j- I just don't know about that. Uh, they're they're in uh, just in some of that estrogen, and uh, you know, I just don't know that they're 
that it's fair than being medically <laughs> medically enhanced for cornhole. Listen, <laughs> I don't want no women around my cornhole. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Okay, so Keith Klansman drives NASCAR and is a cornhole champion. What's the third thing he does to make him a triple threat? Murder? No, uh... uh <laughs> noose aficionado. God damn it. <laughs> no, he he wouldn't actually be into noosing people, but, like, I could see him doing snuff film, sure. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's his artistic side he doesn't like to tell anybody about. <laughs> oh, no, the, the nipple noose slipped. <laughs> She, All the way around. She's dead. <laughs> God damn. Uh, uh, what are we reading? We're reading the Amazon incident by closing we evil one. Closing we evil one. Evil. Weevil. Is that you spell weevil? Yeah. Sure. Okay. I don't know what a weevil is exactly. I'm fairly certain it's made of tiny up. bugs. Crops. Jesus, abyss me. God, you don't have to be so angry about it. Uh, the crops. <laughs> I think that weevils is a Pokemon. Uh, and I will not be convinced otherwise. I'm going to start by telling you what uh, you that while the official while this officially did not occur, I will change the names of those who were with me and myself will remain nameless in the end. I think it is better this way. I was part of a small group sent to investigate a newly discovered hole in the Amazon canopy. Oh, so it's not about you, the company. Whoops. It could be. Wait a minute. Is it a hole in the roof of an Amazon warehouse that was pulled down when someone yanked on what they thought was a door pole, but it's actually a noose? <laughs> I see no reason that that's not the case. Yeah. They, they call their roofs the canopies for obvious <laughs> reasons. Damn it. It's, it's you know, for tax we, purposes. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's for uh, morale. It's like, come on into the Amazon jungle warehouse where there's a bunch of trees boxes that you need to pick up and move to this freshly tilled land over over there on the cart and uh the the you know giant canopy up there that keeps the rain off of us it's and because and, it's the uh, jungle you can just pee anywhere just pee anywhere. <laughs> preferably in these jars though yeah. but don't Prefer tell anybody if uh, anyone asks uh, if you didn't pee in the jar it's because you went rogue, that's a slipping hazard. We have nothing to do with that. And just like in the Amazon jungle, inside the warehouse is 120 degrees. Oof. And uh, if you mess up too much, just like in the Amazon, there are panthers out there that may or may not kill you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your manager may come by and, depending on your work ethic, haunt you like the dangerous game that you're not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your your manager may be the panther as well. <laughs> this and, is a panther and with like a little name tag on his vest. It's just, and, uh, it's just the Black Panthers just <laughs> running <laughs> running Amazon secretly behind the scenes all this time. Dude, Jeff Bezos, who? <laughs> Dude, He's that would front. be imagine. Just imagine for a minute. We That's do great. have a a policy about cleanliness. Um, we are going to need you to clean your ass with this two gallon milk jug <laughs> God damn it. as as the company handbook says cleanliness is next to basoness <laughs> <laughs> it is do you think do you think a lot of people who have ordered like uh gamer girl p from amazon are now questioning who's it really is oh good point mm, wait a minute <laughs> Wait a minute. Do we have to have an expo say about Gamer Girl bathwater? Can you, get, well, that's the thing is I don't believe in bathwater, but pee, sure. Can you get Gamer Girl pee from Amazon? Of course. You cannot. Oh, it, oh, the you first can. thing, the first thing that comes up is a Razor Kraken Kitty USB headset. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think you probably can. It's just like, it's like the quote unquote door pulls. You have to put in some other term, you know? Yeah. Like, uh. There's a, there's a secret menu for Amazon. Like, like, um. What, what would it be? Uh. What's the chemical in urine? I can't, I'm drawing a blank. Ammonia. Ammonia. Like ammonia, ammonia based air freshener. Try that. Mm. <laughs> God damn it. Industrial ammonia jars. <laughs> Yeah. I am finding rugs, so maybe the rugs are soaked with pee? Maybe. You just kind of wring them out when you get them. Yeah. Try decorative hipster urine jar. <laughs> it's like a mason jar. 
Uh, due to the canopy's height, we had to fast rope down from the helicopter in order to get a closer look at the strange phenomenon, as the pilot did not want to risk the aircraft getting damaged. So I'm assuming the aircraft is one of those Amazon drones. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. And I'm assuming this rope down fast Uh is a noose. It's a door pull. It's a door pull, (laughs) not a noose. My yeah, team all of the of... the entire team just put strapping on their nooses and jumping out of the back of the plane. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> Talking about you... a suicide squad. <laughs> <laughs> could, you, could you imagine that? It's just like a form of mass protest. A bunch of Amazon drones just carrying around Dang. dead people by nooses. Teens are calling it sky dying. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the Loose News Crew has a new uh, campaign. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I forgot about the Loose News Crew. Yeah. Never, I, I need to make that 90s hip-hop beat so we can finally do that. For anybody who's uh, new, the Loose News Crew, and never mind, it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> go, go, go deep dive that episode. If you, if you want to know what the Loose News Crews is, uh, Crews? Crew <laughs> is, you already have the answer. <laughs> Yeah. Go go re-listen to every episode until you find it <sighs> and increase our analytics. Uh, my team consisted of Derek, the commander, Eric as the communications operator, <laughs> and, and Rick, <laughs> and Rick, and then K. <laughs> <laughs> the interpreter, Raphael, oh, the rifleman, Dean, and myself as the investigator, in quotation marks. Hmm. So... You're not really an investigator. You're what an imposter. Due to my history degree and understanding of South American cultures and practices, He's sus. <laughs> well, sus American cultures and practices. Am I right? Uh huh. Imposters. Mm-hmm. Once on the ground. Where are my imposters to... at? What? <laughs> Get me up on Amazon Prime. Once on the ground, we began to fan out and secure the perimeter and check for anything that could be dangerous. Well, it's the <laughs> Amazon, so pretty much everything. Yeah. You know. Sir, we found we found 473 dangerous things within a two-foot radius. <laughs> it's mostly these undiscovered snake species. <laughs> Once done, we began looking around. Wait, you... Oh, okay, whatever. This We have a lot of, like, uh kind of clunky phrasing and a little and i know they're trying to give a clunky phrasing idea. here for loose mighty God news damn it. <laughs> um they're trying to give kind of an action movie scene play-by-play but a lot of it's a little redundant so it just kind of comes off clumsy around the quote-unquote hole there were ruins of what appeared to be a small of bleh, not a appeared to be small stone huts most likely for farmers or other civilians was there a farm? Because that would tell you. In the Amazon? No. <laughs> Farmazon. There were only a handful of ruins, but what struck me as odd was that there were no signs of agriculture, there we go, or anything you would expect to find in a seemingly untouched site from long ago. Other than a few baskets here and there, and some rotten furniture in the houses, we found nothing of note except for a handful of skeletons. I guess if the furniture <laughs> is rotten, is it made of people, or...? Well, uh, it was made rotten by the swamp water and high humidity from, uh, you know, a la Abandoned by Disney. Oh, I see. And a handful yeah. of skeletons, tiny little skeletons. Mm-hmm. The skeleton, it's pygmies, because they just fit in the palm of your hand. The skeletons appeared to be wearing Spanish armor. Oh, like that of a conquistador. I knew some Spaniards, I knew them personally. I knew some Spaniards ventured, ventured into the Amazon in search of gold, but I did not expect to find them this far in. Okay. This is not written by someone who's actually a history major, because they would be loading a lot, much yeah. more in a way of like interesting detail. And oh, there was some stone huts. No, you like, come on. And yes, or I can you... say that because I'm a history major. <laughs> no one Listen, talking about. If you're if you're going to write a character, here's a good note: write a character dumber than you. Yeah. <laughs> Every time. Listen. What about no, no, no? Write a character dumber than you, because then. You, you just avoid so many problems by doing that. And if you want to, like, bring up a hyper-specific note, like, bit of information that you have, and you're like, I bet I could bullshit that I'm a, that I got a history major narrator character, then that's fine. You have to have a few nuggets of bullshit that will convince people. Right. I'll tell you right now how to do it. Um, go on Wikipedia, pick somewhere random in the Amazon that has a history that has been, like, somewhat documented, and say it's the blank region that the Spaniards visited in blank year, home Done. to the blank tribe. Just Done. like that alone would Done. be fucked. 
Just make yeah. make it so you're the sniper <laughs> instead <laughs> yeah. of the investigator. Sure, yeah. Have the investigator just spout off random footnotes from Wikipedia. You'll be fine. Through and my sights, I saw several skeletons. <laughs> Through my <laughs> sights, I shot people and they turned into skeletons. Yeah, instantly. <laughs> Man, those are some secret Amazon company bullets. Just like, listen, we don't want that person filing workers' comp. <laughs> How long before Amazon has its own private militia? You assume they don't. I, I yeah. mean, we, that we know about. The Bezo boys. All with their shaved heads, you know? Oh, my God. <laughs> They're all dressed in fucking J. Crew. Yeah. <laughs> So, oh I'm not going to be able to unsee that now. Yeah. That's who, that's who the, that's who our characters are. They're the Bezo boys going to investigate. Bezo Squad One Alpha. Yeah. Are, are you yeah. picturing them in like polos and khaki shorts or what? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I absolutely. Yeah, that that, but like with like a little bit more tactical gear on top of that. But uh, yes, yeah. That's but exactly they're still what... like they're still wearing their loafers and they're like checking it for mud every two steps. Double. You know what to do. <sighs> Draw the Bezo boys, please. Please, that's a that's a big ask, but we need all of the Bezo boys. Tweet and, it in their gear. Tweet it to every Amazon Twitter account you can find, and just write, "I know your secret." <laughs> find Amazon simps who are like defending Amazon, and just tweet it at them to say <laughs> hashtag Bezo boys. Amazon simps. Uh, if you can, if the uh, Prime Minister of Brazil is there, make sure you tweet it at him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, but yeah, so no, it's just, uh, J. Crew got, yeah, you just, it just, I don't know why we're not doing the sniper. Then your main character gets to be a sniper and you get to talk about wind elevation and shit. Mm-hmm. Anyway, oh, well. we, we dropped down the canopy and the wind was going southwest and, yeah, right, right. There was a lot the, of, there gloom. was no wind because there were too many trees. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he just, spit, he just spits out his tobacco, <laughs> makes my job easy. Yep. I don't know why he's, He's a redneck. We keep going to redneck today. Yeah. Uh, okay, look, the South is America's fucking toilet and whipping boy. We we, we we just get to default to that. I'm sorry. You don't get to say that right now. You're in the South. Abysme. No, not. He, you're in Tampa, you're Florida. Tampa, Florida. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, totally. Abysme, Florida. the South is not America's toilet. Uh, you can you can flush a toilet, okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, the South is America's, uh, I don't know. Trash pile? Pea pee bottle? <laughs> pea jar? Yeah, jar. Yeah. Embarrassing pea jar we have to leave on the shelf and occasionally <laughs> just falls out. What if it turns out that Amazon's business model is 100% not, like, you can't make money off of it. It's just not sustainable at all. And it turns out that they're saving money by just not having toilets and everyone's peeing into a jar and it's just piling up. Yeah. The jars are just, there's just a whole other mean... warehouse. I mean, okay, you can't, like, like, so, because of recent events, a lot of places have said, we're just not going to have our employees come to a physical location. That saves an overhead. Amazon obviously can't do that because they're in their warehouse. So where do you cut to save on your bottom line? Bathrooms. Makes I sense. thought you were going to say, because of recent events, with people concerned about transgender and bathrooms, they it. just decided to abolish bathrooms. You know what? Like, yeah. no, no bathrooms. No bathrooms. Yeah. Nobody gets <laughs> well, anything. That does remind me of one of my favorite Squidbillies quotes. Uh, we can't send your uh, your son down to the uh, public school because if they keep segregating down there, it's going to be nothing but bathrooms. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> to uh, add to the mystery, we found skeletons with that type of armor. It was as if the native inhabitants had vanished. Not even their bodies were left. On one of the Spaniard skeletons, there was a note which I had to have Raphael translate. Uh, the note said something along the lines of, As per decree of the crown, you must go forth and scout prospective lands for the founding of another of his majesty's cities within the Amazon Aye. River Basin. Signed, Governor Orwellana. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Orwellana. O-R-E-L-L-A-N-A. That's just a way of jumbling together oral anal. <laughs> Wasn't wasn't Spain ruled by a queen at that point? No, it was ruled by Governor Oral Anal. I don't know. They didn't teach us this stuff. They just taught me that I'm white and that that's wrong. <laughs> they, just say, oh, damn it. they taught me that I was white and that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> they taught it was me Queen that... Isabella. It was Isabella and Ferdinand, but it was like uh, so. Yeah, but nah, whatever. Oh I no, I see King Charles below here. Oh fuck you! Do not 
write a freaking history major and don't do your history. Ugh. They they told me they taught me that it, I was white and that was all right, but I didn't want to hear it, so I pulled on the door pole and left. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of school is this? Listen, some people here are handicapped, so we've gotten rid of all of the doorknobs and replaced them with door poles. Uh oh. Oh god, one of the handicapped kids is stuck in it again. Oh god. <laughs> he went under it. Oh no. Okay, so there is no King Charles the First of the Holy Roman Empire. <laughs> there was a Charles the Fifth. No, 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 you're, 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 no, 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 no. You're binging the wrong thing. Did you look uh, up uh, Chuck? Oh shit, you're right. Maybe it's not Charles the First. Maybe his last name just starts with I. Charles yeah, Iglesias. Hey, All those kings that go by their last name. It's your boy Chuck One. <laughs> Chuck Chucky One. Chuck One. Check Two. God damn it. Buckle my shoe. Upon hearing this, I was immediately captivated. Ariana was made governor of King by King Charles I of the Holy Roman Empire, which is not a thing, and tasked with founding a city at the mouth of the Holy River. Roman Empire. It's, not a thing. You heard it here first. No, yeah, HRE, complete fake. According to records, his expedition to do so ended in failure, with some men marooned on the coast of Oriana himself, <sighs> and oh, sorry, and Oriana himself dying from sickness after his boat delegation was bombarded with poisoned arrows. If this note was indeed from yeah. the men under command, then how on earth did they make it this far into the forest after being shipwrecked off by the coast? So you're saying Governor Orlanel died from piercing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Poison piercing, I thought. And, you know, they just got <laughs> they got salmonella somehow. Uh, they got E. coli somehow, somehow. from Orlanel. Who knows? <laughs> Practice safe sex, kids. Uh, this made no if sense. I, if I'm ever... If if I'm ever not on an episode, let it be known that it's definitely E. coli. God damn it. <laughs> Good lord. That Bella can't be with us uh, on account of the E. coli. Don't, uh, Brandon never abided by that age-old rule, never die on your own supply. <laughs> Well, I don't know how, I don't know about that. I don't know how I would reach, and I don't know that I have the desire to, but still. <laughs> oh, God. This made no sense. I told Derek about the finding, and he insisted that the only way to get to the bottom of the mystery was to descend into the hole. Yeah, I'm sure Derek said that a lot. Yeah. As we approached the quote unquote hole, an unnatural feeling crept into my stomach, the, the pit of my stomach. The thing was perfectly circular. Even the roots of trees that strayed into it curved to match the slope of dirt inside and around the walls. We didn't even we didn't notice it at first, but there appeared to be structures within, which we later discovered was a whole cavern. A whole cavern, everybody. The okay, sun... <laughs> okay, sorry, I have to stop. There was a Charles the First of the Holy Roman Empire, but w he was Charles the First of Spain, and then when crowned emperor, he became Charles the Fifth. That's why it's weird. So. Like, I'm technically wrong, but so is the story. Sorry, continue. Whatever. Everybody's wrong. It's the Fear Fiction Podcast. True, true. The sun kept glinting off of things, but we couldn't quite make out what they were, eyes. Eric was worried they might be spikes or something. <laughs> Eric played too much Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> he kept showing me his OCs on the plane ride. <laughs> this is Eric the Hedgehog? <laughs> Okay, no, the Bezos boys are super into Sonic. Yeah. Like, absolutely they are. You know how, like, the military patches, sometimes they'll have, like, designs on them, you know, that are, mm -hmm. you know, like, not just like a skull or something like that, but sometimes it'll be like, it'll be Popeye on a military patch. Yeah, you know, yeah, some yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, Bezo, <laughs> the Bezo boys, all their patches are just Sonic characters. <laughs> There's like a special secret uh clandestine group that just has like Big the Cat on their <laughs> fucking patches. <laughs> do they like do they hold Chris Chan as like their patron saint or something? I think Chris Chan is like their MK Ultra experiment. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's real. It's real, Chris Chan. It's real. <laughs> ah. the, dim the dimensional verge is real. Uh Eric was worried there might be spikes or something. I told him he watched too many Indiana Jones movies or played Uncharted too much. Oh, so oh, not Sonic. Oh, oh, oh. At that, Dean laughed. Derek ordered us all to secure our ropes to trees and begin rappelling down. We tied them into nooses around our necks and rappelled into the hole. <laughs> this is the worst <laughs> military. <laughs> oh, suicide is funny. Oh, boy. As if it's a squad involved. Yeah. Yeah. 
Listen, guys, never die alone. Always do a suicide path. What are you <laughs> doing? That's, you died by hung yourself. You couldn't even find someone to kill with you. <laughs> that's some that's some beta shit right there. Uh, this is pretty cringe, bro. Yeah, it's pretty cringe. <laughs> Uh, the closer we got to the bottom, or whatever was below us, uh, the more apparent the sheer size of the cavern became. It was enormous. Mm. Uh, below us was a massive pyramid structure with tiered levels like a pyramid, like the, <laughs> that of the Mayans. The Mayans was... were, were pyramids? <laughs> yep. All of them. Sentient so the, pyramids. So all their, uh, all their, all the things they built were basically statues of themselves? Yeah, they were trying to get everyone to know, like, yeah. hey, listen, hey, this, this is As us. you do. Yeah. They were all pyramid heads. <laughs> I don't know, that might, in that context, I don't know, that sounds racist. <laughs> get out of here, you they pyramid were, head. They were pyramid heads, and that's uh, what they would do, do to sacrifice each other. There was one giant, like, 10,000 feet tall pyramid guy, and they just hung him, and then his head dropped down to the ground, and that's, there you go, Mayan pyramid. There you go. Not elaborate at all. What nope. it was doing there, I had no idea. But then again, I was confused by the entire scenario playing around me. Uh, as we touched, I felt the magic <laughs> down onto the upper tier. <laughs> Dean flicked off his safety, and we looked around to get our bearings. Why did he flick off the safety to his gun? There's no reason to do that. Inside because the, was... the pyramids are people. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you have to hear me. The pyramids are who uh, built the pyramids? Nobody. They walked there. That's, you know, that's how, how it went. Mitt yeah. Romney replies, listen, pyramids are people too, my friend. Mm -hmm. Inside was the whole city. I mean, a massive underground city. Uh, kind of like Underground City from Sonic the Hedgehog. Mm -hmm. uh, we went, Eldorado. We were, <laughs> I love Eldorado. That song sucks so bad. Yeah, agreed. That is a great movie. The music... Some of it doesn't really hit the mark. What's the dude's the, name? The, Gary Newman. They should have had him do it. The, the, the very Eldorado. <laughs> We're going the to part. find some gold. <laughs> <laughs> going to get some gold and some by ditches. <laughs> um, we were all astonished to see the the this weird underground civilization. I had never heard of such place existing, let alone in the middle of the Amazon rainforest. <sighs> okay. I think so. They said Mayan pyramids. I'm pretty sure the Mayans lived in Central America, not listen, Southern America. Listen, <laughs> there was a note on one of the Mayans that said, when translated, you must go further into the jungle. <laughs> Run from the conquistadors further and further. Oh, boy. Up is moid. Uh, where, 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 where stop, is my first Stop time? drinking and start reading. No. Look, the, it's really hot in Tampa, Florida. The city. The city was far too massive to search by ourselves, and Eric couldn't get any signal to tell HQ a better find. I just imagine Bezos there sitting with his intercom at the ready. <laughs> to add that we were on a time schedule because the chopper was to return in three hours. We told them to meet us at a designated time in case our communications equipment failed or we couldn't get a signal, thus avoiding the possibility of us being stranded in the middle of nowhere. We decided to descend the steps of the pyramid, which appeared to be empty. The closer we got to the ground, the bigger the surrounding buildings seemed to get. <laughs> it was almost like the perspective was shifting. Um, we, it's going to be ancient ancient monster people in here, right? Probably, yeah. Yeah. Like the descent, I guess. Well, the no, Mayans, we're... like the Mayan calendar, was supposed to foretell the end of the world. So that's probably what we're cluing into here. All right. We're we're also definitely going to El Dorado. We're mm -hmm. also we're going to go to a city of gold. And I'm not just saying that because I'm seeing that down below, but that's oh. that's literally like when you said like El Dorado. I've been thinking it the entire time. So <clears throat> is Shell the un you know non licensed Disney princess like the hottest one probably? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. No, Shell, Shell is like the great, it's yeah. like, like S tier ass, mm -hmm. down to get double teamed, like, down for blowjobs, yeah. oh yeah, down for oral anal, oral anal. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. She she is just like what's E. coli? I don't know what that is. Let's find out. See now, smallpox E. coli. I've never heard of them. Now I now oral anal just sounds like a like an old timey preacher. <laughs> like more oral. Hey, oral anal here. So how about me and my buddy give you the old Eiffel Tower, and Shell's just like, I don't know what that is, and then they start doing it to her, and then she's like, oh yeah, the Mayan Pyramid. God damn it. <laughs> we were all on alert in case something decided to ambush us or anything. The interpreter was a bit uneasy about the whole affair. See, now, 
instead of instead, in case something decided to ambush us, it could just be because it's the Amazon and there's animals and yeah, you know, snakes um, and cougars and crocodiles and ligers and dragons. This is this is kind of akin to uh, trying to make a lost episode or a haunted video game pasta out of something that's already scary. You, you know, the Amazon itself is terrifying. It is filled with, you know, every year they find new things that they haven't found before. That's how <laughs> unplumbed its depths are. You really don't have to, like, have a pyramid in a yeah. hidden cavern. I'm just well, picturing think, some scientists. Oh, sorry, again. I think the two of you are making different points, but both points are good. Yeah. Yes, the Amazon is already terrifying. Don't need to make it terrifying. And two... The the, sh- the foreshadowing is just like, I sure hope we don't get attacked by a siren head with a head siren that blares at us. I like the idea of a scientist in the Amazon uh, finding, like, a beetle that looks exactly like the previous beetle, but this beetle has three lines instead of two, and I like it the- to picture this old guy with white hair going, My God! <laughs> a previously unseen species! This changes everything! <laughs> It's like the same fucking thing. Okay, whatever. Sure, dude. You're clearly not entomologist. The interpreter was a bit uneasy about the whole affair, but he didn't voice his concerns too much because he would have to interpret what he was saying. Just enough for Derek to give him a stern look. Dean took point and was aiming his rifle at seemingly everything but nothing. It was as if he was seeing things that the rest of us weren't. He's, he accidentally put on the, the scope that's like a million times zoom, and he's like, my god, there's microbes everywhere. <laughs> that amoeba is We're huge. Under attack. <laughs> We're surrounded. Ah, quarks! <laughs> the only light source other than our flashlights appeared to be just from the opening in the ceiling. I'm glad we would, I'm glad, wait, present tense, I'm glad we would be out before nightfall. I didn't want to be trapped in this underground tomb. Okay. That's good. I, I was wondering if you would want to be trapped there. Yeah, you know. The longer we walk... I, I should be clear, this isn't bad. It's not like it's a terrible story. No, I'm just yeah. wondering if they're, you know, plunging into the depths of this, where are they putting their pee jars? How are they making sure that bears can't attack their pee jars? Right. Are they burying their pee jars? Listen, we just need some logic to the story. Yeah. The longer we walked, the more I noticed the silence. The only noise was from us. I didn't like this whole thing. It made no sense. Why were Spanish conquistadors all the way out here from a failed expedition? Why were they they the only skeletons we found? Were they uh, were they nope. were there? Nope. Where? <clears throat> help me out, guys. Where, where were? were? Where were? Where were the inhabitants of or any traces of inhabitants of this massive city? I became paranoid. I started looking more closely at my surroundings and noticed that there weren't even any bugs or animals or anything alive down here other than us. We began searching some of the houses, and again, like the ones above, we found nothing except for a few baskets and bowls here and there and some furniture that was a little more well-kept. This is this is an idea I have. What if... This is making me think this. What if the rapture already happened and we just didn't know and were damned? Yeah. Like a Christian rapture happened and the ones that God chose raptured them up and then were just left behind. And there's this is the doomed world. What if there was a Christian rapture of Christian rappers? <laughs> <laughs> also, are these bowls they're finding, the, the same baskets and bowls, are they full of poop and pee or what? Baskets of shit everywhere. Bowls of urine. Well, look how uncivilized these people are. Dude. <laughs> Don't they know that that's not going to keep? Yeah. Uh, I found much petrified shit in baskets. It was fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, the city was like a time capsule. As a historian, this was an amazing place to be in. Huh. But as a de facto explorer, this place was terrifying, unnerving. <laughs> I'm an explorer. Let me through here. Ah, I'm terrified. Ooh, ah, I hate exploring. Well, okay. Ah, things if, I don't know. You're... Ah. If you're a historian and you stumble upon a otherwise undiscovered Mayan ziggurat, whoa! Like, can you say that? You know, I can. I can it's okay? I'm a historian. Um, <laughs> yeah. Your reaction isn't "Whoa, this is spooky." Your reaction is "Oh my god, I'm going to be fucking famous. Yeah. I found an undiscovered ziggurat." Like this, all you have to do, and as I said, this isn't a terrible story, but all you have to do is picture. Okay, okay. There's an expedition of people in Egypt. 
and they're going to a site where they're going to dig in the sand, and they're going to look and see if there's anything at the site of interest. And they find the ruins of buildings, and then it's they all freak the fuck out, and they go, I wonder if something will pop out and kill me. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> no. <they're, laughs> they just go, oh, excited. cool, and they dig it up. <laughs> it's very meticulous, methodical work. Yeah. And, like, that's... Indiana Jones is an attractive concept because it takes what is a very kind of tedious job and makes it into exciting action adventure. Right. Um, and this is, I think, trying to do that. But even Indiana Jones you know, has at least some lip service to this is what happens when you find an old piece of pottery. You have to look at it and study it and cross reference and speculate. And this is just, oh man, there's there's no bugs in this spooky ziggurat. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Yeah. Well I, I feel like I'm about to die. <laughs> Haven't you been exploring ruins and excavating things in the past as part of your you job. No, I, this is the that, first time. <laughs> that's the, like, a historian and an archaeologist are not the same thing. We really do not have any background to any of our characters other than these are our roles in our video game. Yeah. And um, I, I'm a historian, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I'm it, just it, assuming... So lacking a lot of context. I'm assuming perhaps incorrectly. I'm assuming that he's done this before. I don't know. Maybe it's his first time. Who knows? It's 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 got to be everybody's first time sometime exploring yeah. and do a ziggurat. Yep. Sure. I don't know what that is. It's the stepped uh, pyramid as you see in the road to El Dorado, for example. Like the Washington so like, Monument. That's one. Oh, so yeah. Like, yeah. Oh my God. Ziggurats have touched down in the New World. <laughs> they so, are all alien spaceships. This is true. So who is this now? Says me. Oh. Yeah. However, we did find these mini statuettes inside just about every house. We all guessed about their importance, but those were just that guesses. <laughs> That's a weird sentence. We found they these were... mini statuettes that were very phallic. <laughs> we, we couldn't figure out what they were for, but... They definitely weren't for ancient games of Warhammer 40k. They were gold-plated and were really ancient dolls... And we're really... A lot of this phrasing is very strange. I'd like to give my presentation about what I, a history expert and explorer, have found on my journeys. Anyway, there were these really cool dolls that were really ancient. And... <laughs> they were totally cool. They are radical, They dude. were gold-plated and were really ancient dolls from the look of it. They had some heft to them, and we assumed they were made out of some sort of rock. Like gold? Sure. With <laughs> intricate carvings into them making them look like tiny golden men. Oh, so they're custodes. Okay. I joked to the others that we found El Dorado. There it is. And had to explain that it meant the man or the golden one. My attempt to lighten the mood quickly fell flat and was replaced with awkward silence, only being interrupted by our footsteps along the stone street. Then everyone started discussing Shell. <laughs> <laughs> so Shell, like, like you would, right? Yeah. Throughout this whole ordeal, everyone was silent, only talking when necessary or talked to. I guess we were all pre wait a minute. Only talking when necessary or talked to, so it's only when something is necessary. What would be necessary to say? Like, don't step on that? Or... Look out, there's a snake. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's no... Hand me a pee jar. Yeah. Yeah, Hand me a mine's full. I guess we were all preoccupied with <laughs> our thoughts. <laughs> they just have giant backpacks. <laughs> <laughs> clink, clink. <laughs> I guess we were all preoccupied with our thoughts. I know I was. I turned to Derek and said, Something is wrong here. The whole thing is wrong. He looked at me and said, Well, what do you want me to do about it? Go back? We have a job to do, and while I understand your reluctance to continue, I will not abort this mission. Not while we are almost finished. If you want to go back and wait for the helicopter, be my guest. The rest of us men will continue on without you. How do you know you're almost finished? Um, like, uh, there was a hole in the Amazon, and we found a pyramid, and we're here, so we're almost finished? Like, what, what makes him say that? <laughs> we're almost finished with this Amazon pyramid hole. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're almost to the end of it. When he finished, I noticed everyone looking at me. I could feel my face turning red, even though it was cl fairly chilly in the cavern. I, you f grow up. <laughs> what? Grow up. Okay. I told him that wouldn't be necessary, and he gave me a glare and began walking again. The rest followed suit. So these guys are going to die, because they're being yeah. mean. That was the stupidest decision I have made yet, and one I don't think will ever be topped. Unlike me. <laughs> Unlike me. You know, sometimes I finish, and, uh, you know, after everyone comes, I will be topped. Mm -hmm. 
As soon as the frame slowly closed, Derek decided to go back to the center of the city and check out the temple. Walking back, I began to get ner this nervous feeling of impending doom. I didn't know why, other than I'm trying to build atmosphere, and I didn't feel it <laughs> when it, we came in here. By the way, it, it was, was 2011, December. <laughs> oh, no. 2011, December, what happened then? 2012, mine calendar. Oh, but it was getting worse the closer we got to the temple. We climbed the steps and went inside the top of the pyramid and found the steps that led to it. What? We all activated our flashlights and began walking into the structure. <laughs> we all did a, a Sentai stance and said, flashlight, go! <laughs> all right, right man, activate flashlights. <laughs> Earth, fire, <laughs> wind, what? Flashlight. <laughs> no, they're just like, flashlight, flashlight, flashlight. But your work and powers combined, we have light. multiple have beams of light. light. Earth, fire, wind, water, heart, flashlight. Oh, he's, Ricky, please, go home. Ricky. <laughs> flashlight, 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 huh? Uh -huh. Captain Flashlight. <laughs> Captain Flashlight. <laughs> Ed Dragon, get at me for Captain Flashlight. <laughs> is Captain is Captain Flashlight? Does he have two flashlights for hands? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, oh man. I bet you're wondering what I use to masturbate. <laughs> Fucking hell. Just shrugs. Immediately, we noticed the mass hanging on the wall. They were decorative and most likely used for ceremonies or rituals. I told them. Yeah, or they just wore them, or you know, uh, you know, they reduce the. Uh, you know, spread of COVID. Who knows? Yeah. That, that's my secret, Captain Planet. I'm always flashlights. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the way you're describing it, I'm just imagining Mark Ruffalo turning into a giant jumping flashlight. <laughs> a giant green <laughs> flashlight. <laughs> God damn it. You've just got all the, the planeteers with flashlights. Oral. <laughs> Anal. Nasal. <laughs> uh, vaginal? <laughs> uh, those are uh, children, but okay. No, that's it's a totally. Di we, we just talked about Captain Planet with flashlights for hands. We're off. You know, we're off in a different reality now. <laughs> well, Captain Planet is an adult. Yeah, but he's look, appearing to. Ch okay, whatever. <laughs> look, when the CW reboots Captain Planet oh, for his next live action show, <laughs> the Planeteers are all going to be of age. Listen, what? Captain Planet, we're going to leak your nudes unless you come out and save the world. <laughs> the fuck? I, I'm a mystical being of. <laughs> what do you mean nudes? <laughs> Captain Planet has been let off on a technicality. God damn it. All right. What do we, who is it? What? It's a Bismi. Every time it's a Bismi. Uh, look, a Bismi's been drinking. It's hot in Tampa. Oh, uh, when we get, when we got to the bottom. A Bismi's been drinking. The Abysmi store. <laughs> <laughs> I may have hit up a lot of microbrews before I came here. Um, when we got to the bottom, we noticed carvings along the walls leading towards what looked like a chamber. <gasps> the carvings depicted people, but they looked weird. But an artistic design, not as an artistic design way, oh gosh, but they didn't appear to be human. Wait. The proportions were all wrong and their faces were too misshapen. It, I mean, it's, it's just buffalo. What? <laughs> that's just, that's just hieroglyphs. Yeah. Like, they're not great proportions. Carvings. Before. There were carvings on the wall. The carvings depicted people, but they looked weird. The people were distorted and odd. They had snake-like bodies and snake heads and snake teeth eyes and snake <laughs> tongues. Snake teeth eyes. They looked like snakes, they were, but they were people. I just knew it. You they know what? Concealed snake genitalia. Yeah. This this is really reminding me of, like, Stargate, but not refined. Like, you have your Peter Jackson character. Or, sorry, Michael Jackson. Jackson Michael Jackson? No, fuck. What? I'm drunk. Never mind. Um, okay. <laughs> but like you, you, you have a, a military squad investigating the Stargate, which is in fucking ancient Egypt. This is basically that, but in the Amazon rainforest. Listen, However, listen, you, Peter okay. Jackson, Michael Jackson, they go through Stargate, they come out the other side as one being their Peter Michael Jackson. Okay, <laughs> Bismarck is yelling at. Me and from listen, downstairs. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. But that's just the Peter Jackson. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I'm for real. Mm -hmm. <sighs> blah, blah, blah. Uh, the proportions were all wrong and the faces were too misshapen. They were all gray and had what looked to be just simple cloth garments. 
To make things even weirder, they looked as if they were worshipping the massive serpent-like creature, which oh. is a penis, so, of course, we thought that it was just a line or border at the top of this set of carvings. But upon closer <laughs> inspection, the one end tapered to a point, and the other had a head. Mm-hmm. Although not of a snake, yeah, it's a penis. It was more akin to a feline. Oh, oh fleshly. I told the team that the serpent might be an anaconda. Don't and they, the head... <laughs> they didn't want to hear none of that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry. <laughs> and he had that of a jaguar since those were common in this region. They gave me a puzzled look and I told them it was just an assumption. Wow, you are a terrible historian. <laughs> Derek said, that doesn't look like the head of any car I've ever seen. And I had to explain, <laughs> no, a jaguar is actually... <laughs> oh, so the kitty cat on the front of the jaguar is a jaguar. Oh, wait a yes, minute. Yes, Derek. My so, anaconda <laughs> don't want none unless you do virgin sacrifice. Yep. Son. Dean was the one. Dean was the one that finally said something. <laughs> what the heck is even this place? What? Uh, Dean, what are you okay? What the heck is even this place? What are we doing down here? We, we got, you got, you know, we got a ziggurat. We got the weird ass carvings. <laughs> can, we, can we get the uh, anti busker guy? <laughs> <laughs> Dean was the one that finally said something. What the heck even is this place? Or is even this place? I mean, why would a city be underground in the rainforest? It's nothing. It's shit. <laughs> it literally says it. God damn it. I walked Fuck Shell you. up on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I was there when Montezuma was born. <laughs> I I wiped Mon- Montezuma's ass. Rainforest. Was, yeah, and then... that's tech. It was very soupy. He ate a lot of hot chocolate. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> And then have literally nothing else here besides stupid little gold men. Stu- stupid little gold men here for... <laughs> <laughs> Why am I surrounded by stupid little gold men all the time? Lo- They're all just in there. What are we supposed to discover here? There's nothing important, just a bunch of fucking gold. <laughs> yeah, it's a bunch of shit. I mean, what sense does that make? Then you're telling us this garbage about some quote-unquote lost expedition led by some Spanish dude? No, the interpreter told you that. Then this crap with people or things and a serpent with a cat's head? It's right in front of you on the wall. I mean, honestly, are we in a movie or something, or perhaps a no-sleep story? Because where's the camera? Oh, God. Uh, It literally says, are we in a movie or something? uh, Slime Beast added the no-sleep or something. I'm just pointing that out because... It sounded like you were making a joke, but yeah. the story is actually... That, that a, is a fake movie line calling out a fake movie situation. Uh, was, okay. okay. I told him I didn't know what this all meant, but something was up for us to be inside some giant under... I told him I didn't know what this all meant, but something was up for us to be inside... Okay, I was right. Some giant underground temple with carvings on the walls. Listen, something is, has to be up for us to be inside of this underground temple. What? Like, th- this is written very stream of consciousness, and yeah. that can work for certain stories, but in your military action-adventure esque story... From the perspective kinda, of a history major. Yeah, you really need to, I guess, have more structure with your sentences and be more deliberate with your detail. That isn't just, I don't know, it was maybe a snake with a jaguar head, but some Spanish dude, it's just, eh, yeah, yeah. I still like the idea of the names of the people being Derek, Eric, Rick, and K. <laughs> <laughs> I still like that. Derek stepped... Spaces. Derek stepped in and told both of us to quiet down in case something might be down there with us. Why? Eric, meanwhile, was slowly creeping back to the stairs, and Raphael, I think, was examining the pictures and going further into the hallway. So he's um, doing your job better than you, essentially. They're splitting up. Yeah, this, none, of, none of that makes sense. I like the idea, though, of just Bezos, like, please, come in, boys. Derek, Eric, Eric. Rick, Ick, uh, <laughs> someone in. I have something to reveal to you. My son. You you are all my clones. <laughs> God damn it. All right, so they're all splitting up, and uh, Scooby and Shaggy went to see if there was anything to eat in any of the old temples. We were only brought back to the task at hand when Raphael shouted for us to check something out. Derek and Eric. Derek and Eric. (laughs) Fuck. (laughs) Derek saw Eric trying to leave and berated him while ordering him to return to the group. (laughs) Eric. Eric, Eric, said Derek. Without you, I'm just, duh. (laughs) Get back here. Anyway, Eric and Derek and Eric dicked. <laughs> Derek dicked Eric and Eric dicked Derek. Derek and 
Fuck. <laughs> and, and he just uh, if Eric and, and Dick, yep, yep, yeah. just stroking mm-hmm. out. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Inside the chamber was a giant version of the miniature statuettes that we kept finding around the city that were made of gold and that we didn't plunder or pillage. Right. In front of us was a giant sarcophagus from the looks of it, complete with carvings and all. Wow. Before I could look at the objects, Raphael brought to my attention to, brought my attention to his find. To my surprise, it was another conquistador corpse. A, con- a conquistador, if you will. Mm-hmm. Corpse Quistador? Corpse Quistador. Corpse Quistador? Corp Quistador <laughs> would be an excellent Spanish bar. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm, I'm gonna have to get some venture capital game through this. Wait, no, wait. actually, it would be a good, uh, Spanish bar for men of an alternate lifestyle. Cork Keister door. Okay. <laughs> get it? But, uh, huh? Venture capital gang is an amazing gang idea where they just basically buy out all the other gangs. Yeah. <laughs> they don't even have to bother with like turf wars or whatever. They just fucking, you know, buy everyone out. They just buy into the existing gangs and they own enough of their stock that they just own all their operations. Yeah. No, that's exactly what Bezos did. That's how he made the Bezos boys. He just bought the Bloods and the Crips and he's <laughs> like, listen, you're assimilated. God damn it. Look, he got some, he threw some white nationalists in there, some MS-13, everyone. <laughs> he got a, some Latin he, kings. Yeah. Some Latin kings. All right. My name is Jeff Bezos. I've just bought out the Bloods. Now I need to buy out the Crips. Uh, you, you may be wondering why I'm meeting you here. Uh, Crip, Rip, and Ip. Uh, I see Puh couldn't make it. <laughs> Crip, Rip, Dip, and Drip. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Sip, is, Sip just got shot outside. God rest his soul. Damn it. Rip. Goodbye, little Rip. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Little Rip. <laughs> little Rip. He's dead before he becomes a star. In other news today, <laughs> rapper Lil Rip, <laughs> whose first song was re- to be released today, was shot in Brooklyn. <laughs> we need to make a fake rapper called Lil Rip and possibly release his album that was made before he died, but he's already dead. Lil Rip and his, his hit album, Live Forever. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's a Simpsons joke. Simpsons did it, fuck. Oh, whatever. Uh, Lil Rip. <laughs> toxicology report came back. Turns out that his body was half Xanax. God damn it. Lil Rip. He's been buried in all of his trip. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody he, pour out a sip. He wanted to be buried in the Crip Crypt. What the fuck? Uh, here comes, here comes his, uh, his rap duo mate to give, to give the sermon. <laughs> <laughs> Little lip. <laughs> what? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> and his murder, his murder is still unsolved at this point. Uh, we ha- we interviewed his manager, a heartbroken MC Little Rip Killer. <laughs> yeah. Turns out we're MC Little Rip Killer. Yeah. <laughs> Little, Little Rip Killer actually does not know any firearms or knives or. Anything. It was actually Little Rip's dealer. <laughs> Listen, it's your boy Little Rip Killer. You want that shit that killed Little Rip? Hit me up. Hit me up if you a tip. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> fuck. Oh, the- somebody oh. out there, somebody with a lot of free time and no life, create the Wikipedia page for Little Rip and yes. say say that his murder is unsolved. And put up, you know, an interview with, you know, Lil Rip, what is it? What is it? Uh, MC, MC Lil Rip Killer. Yeah. <laughs> Just put up, put, throw all that in there. See how long it can stay up. Look, I was there at the moment he died. I don't know how it happened, but, you know, I was there. <laughs> I would have, I would have walked Lil Rip up on stage <laughs> if he had lived. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? I was there when Lil Rip died. I don't know how it happened. He just had all those pill bottles around him. <laughs> it was weird, Your Honor. <laughs> Strange. How can pill bottles being around you kill you? Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Fuck. Ain't no death I ever seen. Mm-hmm. Except I saw it. <sighs> Except I saw it. <laughs> Lil Rip. <laughs> Rest in peace, Lil Rip. Through this time, it looked much more preserved, completely with a pointy beard and a and cl- was clutching a piece of yellowed paper. Pea paper. 
five hundred year old paper expose the elements. It's fine. No, no it's one in really the hole. wanted. To, oh yeah, no. Uh, no one really wanted to do it, but I eventually reached down and pried the paper from his hand. It made a sickening crunch as the joints creaked. Unwilling to surrender the final thing, its master clutched. Raphael once again read the contents because I'm a pointless history major of, you know, South America and I can't read Spanish. Although this time, with a look of fear on his face, the longer he read it. I asked him what it was and he just said we needed to leave. He was <laughs> I like the idea. Of- I'm sorry. He, he starts reading it and he's translating it. It says, welcome to my friendly home. Ah, oh, where you will die. Ah, oh, from my kindness. Oh, oh, because I am a good host. Of parasites, ah, uh, who uh, <laughs> so, like a mad lib, yeah, incredibly, incredibly disjointed and stupid. <laughs> I asked him what it was, and he just said we needed to leave. He was almost out of the chamber when Derek grabbed him and threw him against the wall. Oh God, this oh. is so dramatic. Eric, on the other hand, had okay, Derek grabbed him, but Eric, on the other hand, had already used this distraction to book it down the hall and up the stairs. Derek focused on Raphael and pulled out his knife and demanded he tell him what he read. That is a lot of pronouns that I know who you're referring to, but yeah. All right. <sighs> God damn it. Raphael quivered. Uh, he shook and sweated as he said, the note reads, always watches, no eyes. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At this point, Dean had shouldered his weapon, and I couldn't tell if he was aiming at Derek or Raphael or both. <laughs> I couldn't tell if he was aiming at Derek, Eric, Ick, Rick. <laughs> uh, he had two sights and two barrels, so I couldn't tell which one he planned to shoot. Raphael told us that the note said something like, To any who discover this wretched, cursed place, leave immediately and speak not of what was found here. For only... You, you're writing a story about it. Uh-huh. For, for only death and eternal suffering await those who venture upon this mysterious city. Signed, Governor Oral Anal. I looked Return back. the slab. Yeah. <laughs> Return the plug, said Oral Anal. I looked Return. back. What is it? The, the door stop? God damn it. The, the door pull? <laughs> <laughs> I want to hang myself. Oh. <laughs> I looked back at the corpse after hearing this and immediately recognized the beard and attire. Okay. Derek let Raphael go and... Yeah, because... Fuck. I, I oh, immediately no, no. recognized the beard because if there's one thing conquistadors didn't have, it was pointy beards. This must be Gen- Governor Orlanal. Derek let Raphael go and allowed him to get to his feet, but ordered Dean to keep an eye on him and shoot him if he tried to run. Okay. Why? Uh, uh, like, here's another problem. We have no idea what this squad is, who is in charge of it, and that might sound like nitpicking, but like, if it's the SEALs, okay, that means something. If it's Blackwater, that's different. Who, who is this? What are you we, we know exactly who it is. Who is it? It's the Bezos boys. Yeah. Oh well. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. It's the Bezos boys. Yeah. Jesus. But Christ. I expect more from the Bezos boys than this uh, uncoordinated bullshit. You know, th- this uh, this infighting is not befitting of the Bezos boys. I it's really agree. not. Yeah. yeah. Derek looked at me and asked if any of that made any sense. I told him if that corpse really is Governor Oral Anal, and this place was discovered by the Spaniards centuries ago, then this could be a remarkable find. However. The warning given by Oral Anal <laughs> that you should never go ask them out. Yeah. <laughs> if it is him, is quite unsettling to say the least. Derek checked his watch, and we only had about 30 minutes before the helicopter came. It would take about 10 minutes or so to get out of the cavern, so they left us with only 20 minutes to finish scouting the place. <laughs> Derek quickly turned to the giant statue and the sarcophagus. What if we combined them, he said. <laughs> <laughs> what? And resurrect a dead god. Yeah. I. Tom Cruise yelled out, ah! ah! <laughs> Chris Redfield punched a boulder. And, I don't know. As he yeah. approached it, I looked at the carvings and noted that they were similar to those in the walls leading up to the chamber. A notable exception, however, was that in the center was what appeared to be a throne. <gasps> Instead of a king, there lay a massive serpent whose with those humanoid creatures on their knees, praying to it and worshipping it. In their hands were those golden statuettes. Derek suddenly grabbed the lid and tried to open it. I told him that probably wasn't such a good idea, but he persisted. Who How is in charge here? I don't know, but this this historian just broke a, a cadaver's hand open to get a note out. That prob- The note was probably destroyed when it was unrolled and opened. 
you know, why are you picking now to be concerned about the integrity of anything going on here? Well, I'll tell you, a historian is not necessarily an archaeologist. And, yeah, but still, yeah. You, what are you, a fucking dope? You're just going to be like, I'm going to break shit. I don't know. When I stop, I guess this is just the, this is a look into all the video game logic with all the pot smashing and all the shit like that. Those are all historians, not archaeologists. Yeah. Yeah. When I stepped forward the to stop. The only way, the only way to preserve history is to destroy it. Yeah. When I stepped forward to stop him, he had finally broken the seal and threw the lid off. As the lid hit the feet of the statue, the dust that must have been centuries old flew up and caused us all to cough. <laughs> Lol. At that moment, I saw a dark form moving from within the tomb. Derek leaned over to see what it was. Fucking, I have to get a closer look at this dark form moving in an ancient tomb. Just as he did that, just as he did, it should be a comma, that serpent jaguar beast from the carvings leapt out and bit down, engulfing his upper torso, and quickly shot back down from whence it came. And then a 40-foot snake uncoiled itself in the middle of an abandoned Disney park. That's mm-hmm. unbelievable. But this that I like this jaguar-headed snake. That's believable. <laughs> yeah, ridiculous. Uh, Abysme, roar like the team jaguar jaguar. Roar! Yeah, that's how he sounds when I'm banging him. <laughs> Oh, uh, all, all of us! Left, all of us left the room immediately, sprinting down the hallway. It wouldn't be long before it came out after us. God damn it! You're an apex predator. Mm-hmm. <laughs> With one more flight of stairs to go, Raphael tripped, and as I was went to grab his hand, we suddenly flew back. It didn't. I didn't even register what had happened until Dean grabbed me and yelled. We gotta go! He threw a grenade down the stairs, I guess. Get the fuck ten- down! Get the fuck down! Grenada! <laughs> Intending to collapse it or something. Whatever the intent was, was it failed because the only thing that happened was a small explosion and the sound of flesh being torn apart echoing from below. <sighs> Out from below. How happy are we with a uh, jaguar-headed snake? I mean... I'm fine with plumbing the depths of ancient tombs and finding the uh, depictions of hieroglyphs that are actually literal, a la Lovecraft's Under the Pyramids, but not in the way this is delivered. I wish it was, like, decayed or something, so that you yeah. would be like, it's be- okay, that's why it's in a tomb, is because it's, like, a dead thing, but it sort of is like, we love our god, we love our god, god is great, we love snake, snaky jaguarrington. Let's just we, put him we, in a tomb. The end. <laughs> we put a jaguar on top of an anaconda, and that was cool. <laughs> we heard you like jaguars and anacondas, so we put a jaguar on your anaconda, so you can... I don't know. Eric was confused as to why Dean threw a grenade down the stairs and what the sound coming from below was. He was in the middle of asking where Derek was when the sounds from the hallway stopped. Dean quickly told us all to hook up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah the o- might as well. Listen, the only way we can beat this thing... <laughs> You have to it's trust love. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Stephen King. <laughs> and begin climbing up. He told us he'd stay behind and cover us since he was the only trained rifleman and bear and was the only one with a rifle and ammunition. So everyone else in the squad had no weapons. I okay. like the I, I like picturing that. Uh, Dean says, you guys go ahead. I'll stay behind because I'm the only trained rifleman here and the only one with a rifle and ammunition. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Oh fuck, why didn't we think of that? Shit, bunch of Kansas City f words out here. What? Uh, uh, we didn't argue with his show of heroism. The chopper would be back in a few minutes, and anyway, a few minutes anyway, so we could try and enlist their help extracting him from atop the pyramid. <sighs> About halfway up, aliens. This is like sure. uh, the movie Aliens. About halfway up. He'll stay behind and sacrifice himself to destroy the alien, but then, oh no, we gotta evac, but then the queen alien is gonna, you know, it's like that adventure, not really literally it's, aliens, the movie, but it's like that adventure scenario where you're like, okay, is this really a horror story? Or? No, it, it, it really it, is. It's AVP Requiem. Yeah. yeah. About, that is true. About halfway up, we heard shots ring out, which were quickly replaced with screams. So it was like, Pow, 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 and then it was like, ah, 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 <laughs> replacing the gunshots. I didn't look back, but Eric must have. Must have is with a uh, dash between must and have? Is yeah, that... that's that's not correct. This I... Eric is a Derek that is a must have. Yeah. <laughs> I heard him scream for Dean and pull out his pistol and start shooting <laughs> while holding Everybody on to the rope. Everybody scream for Dean. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> 
<laughs> the whole thing just made me climb faster. I could hear the rotors from the approaching helo. Sure. Huh. I, sure. Whatever. <laughs> that's such that's such a kite man thing to say. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear the rotors going from the approach. <laughs> I only Helo's looked... not as kites, but, uh, hell yeah. yeah. I only looked back when I heard Eric stop screaming. The thing had somehow managed to make it to the wall of the quote-unquote hole and was wrapping itself around Eric. I can still see his face. I have it in a jar of piss on my shelf. The look of utter horror etched onto it. I couldn't do anything. I could only keep climbing and hope that I survived this nightmare. Can we talk about how obscure but hilarious it is the Catwoman brings Tim Burton as her date to their wedding in the second season. <laughs> Spoilers. Yeah, and the, uh, it's, it's just so random, but I love it. Yeah, it's good. It's good. He's the only person who has given Catwoman any uh, <laughs> good treatment in film, I guess. Well, he has, he has no lines as well, so he's not even willing to go that far. <laughs> uh, uh, it's Brandon's turn. <laughs> When I reached the top, I was met with five ropes. Only one was required now, but I <laughs> used all five. <laughs> damn it. He's just hopping around like he's fucking <laughs> cut a Donkey Kong. <laughs> Wee! No, I can hang myself from these. We're supposed to hang ourselves. <laughs> oh, man, he's going to have to hang himself by himself. Five like a times. Sigma. Aw. Total Sigma move. I attached myself to the nearest rope and told the pilot to get us out of there fast. Thankfully, the comms worked and the pilot didn't question the urgency of my request, nor were the rest of my, nor where the rest of my team was. We were almost out of the canopy when I saw the beast emerge from the hole. I immediately drew my sidearm. Okay. Wait a second. That's not very immediate if you're just doing it now. (laughs) Anyway, I started blasting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, he, you know, he told us that he'd stay behind and cover us since he was the only trained rifleman there and was the only one with a rifle and ammunition. So I suppose, uh, sidearm, I guess not, uh, a gun, uh, not a, not a rifle. So. Yeah, technically accurate. Technically accurate. You could. <laughs> I, t- I immediately drew my insta kill snake jaguar laser from my holster. <laughs> Wait. Which was not a rifle. <laughs> Why didn't you. Okay. Earlier, Didn't maybe? require ammunition, therefore. If this is like some giant eldritch beast, I don't think your sidearm's gonna cut it, buddy. Yeah. I uh, immediately drew my sidearm, and I started blasting at the creature. I just needed to get out of the canopy. I screamed at the pilot to hurry and get me out of the canopy. The creature lunged upwards as the pilot jerked up, mm-hmm. and, I, and just threw me out of reach from the thing's head. Falling back down wasn't fun, but it beat getting eaten by whatever that thing was. It also didn't help that when he jerked, I all you know I had the noose around my neck and it mm-hmm. broke my broke my neck. Yep, it's sort of like <sighs> a uh, carotene by proxy. Ooh, what assisted? <laughs> do you okay? That's that's a question we should get into at the end of this episode. How do you guys feel about assisted carotening? <laughs> um, if it's completely uh consensual, uh, whatever you do, you yeah. Everybody needs a spotter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a spotter for your death. Yeah, yeah. Might as well. Like we we already established that dying on your own is kind of stupid. So uh, you know, have someone there. <laughs> Back at HQ, I underwent extensive. <laughs> hey, <gang. laughs> Come on by. We're going to get little margaritas, and I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. It's like a bachelor party for your death. Yeah. Back at HQ, I underwent extensive questioning and was ultimately told never to tell anyone any part of this, so I did. Uh-huh. Apparently, they sent all sorts of aircraft to try and cave in the hole and hopefully seal that thing inside it. They contacted the Brazilian government and told them some excuse about a potential natural disaster. Uh-huh. If anything was done there or something just to keep people away, the Brazilian government responded, but it was in Spanish, and we were like, whatever, our well, interpreter's dead. Raf- yeah, if Raphael's I'm- gone. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, they still watch that place today, although all remnants of the buildings around it, along with the conquistadors, have been erased from ever being there. And the whole cave in idea that see that's where you need your hyphen, but you don't have it here. Cave in huh. idea didn't work. They opted to just seal the hole instead and attempt attempt to keep a veil of secrecy over the whole operation and what happened that day. Okay, SCP. I still see that thing from time to time in dreams or nightmares or my window or the refrigerator. I just hope it never escapes. 
I still don't know the exact reason for the golden statuettes or statue. I also don't know who the inhabitants were or why they just disappeared. I just know that some secrets are best left forgotten and deserve to be lost to time. You are the worst historian. Like, would you not pocket one of them? Okay. I, here's my question. Okay, you've got a giant snake with a jaguar head. Uh-huh. Tell me that people, the human race, people in general, have not killed things bigger and more disturbing in real life. Like whales and, you know... Well, I I think the amalgamation is the scary part. But I and... mean, once you get over that, you're kind of like, okay, so... We have no reason to believe it's like a, you know, actual god. You know, it right. may be in, in canon, but you would have no reason to believe that yet. So you might as well try out, you know, flying by on a helicopter or, you know, using a drone and, <laughs> you know, having a drone shoot a missile into its mouth. You know, like. <laughs> you can drone strike a whale. Yeah. You could. Good. Well, well, therein lies the issue of saying I'm the historian when your services as a historian are utterly unnecessary for this whole story. Because it was just, there was little statues and carvings, and I don't know what they mean. And I had an interpreter read everything for me. Why need a historian at all at this point? Why not just, why not set up some kind of seismic uh, tracking technology to determine if something is moving down in the hole? High-tech sure. shit. And then yeah. just drop down poisoned meat. <laughs> just wait. Too. Wait and see if the movement stops. <laughs> mm. I mean, there's a lot of ideas, a lot of things you could do. There's a there's a lot of things you can do, but at the end of the day, I think you can drone strike a whale. Yeah, definitely. You can. And you totally can. Listen, Fuck the whales. U.S. government's coming for whales. Fuck them. We're going to drone strike all you bitches. Can we get We're a... moving out of Afghanistan. we got to strike somewhere else, probably the Pacific Ocean, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like the Japanese prime minister's like, Hey, America, do you have any of those... Uh, drones with missiles <laughs> you're you're not going to drone strike whales are you no um, for scientific purposes maybe <laughs> we think the chinese are using whales in the china sea to spy on our operations so <laughs> yeah there you go <laughs> uh can we get a can we get a t-shirt that says instead of save the whales it says drone the whales can we get that and just a picture of Abysme smiling with a drink in his hand. This has been the Fear Fiction <laughs> Podcast. Your hosts are Abysme, Dead Palette, and Slime Beast. Music by Abysme. Art by C.F. Comer. Voice over by Atticus Jackson. Edited by Elias the Intern. Subscribe to Fear Fic on YouTube to stay up to date on new episodes. I reported a dead body at an Amazon warehouse, and now I'm in the real Amazon. I was having a normal day at my Amazon location 32XB where I work. I was hooked into my vital scanner which measures my actions per minute, which makes sure that I don't fall behind 30 packages processed per Amazon worker minute. I like this because it's like playing League of Legends, but in real life trying to keep my actions per minute up. Suddenly, I heard an electrical sound, and when I looked over, the employee next to me tripped over his vital scanner and broke his jar of pee. It shocked him dead, right there on the spot. But HR wouldn't be around for another two hours when they do their pat-downs to make sure no one is holding any cell phones, headphones, or any recording devices. The employee next to me? whose name I don't know because I've never spoken to him and the name tag got fried in the explosion. Um, you know, I can't talk to him because Mr. Bezos says open communication is the first step to unionization. Anyway, the employee right next to me shit himself upon death. So I stopped my scanning to hit the call button on my vital scanner. I could already smell his corpse rotting due to the lack of airflow or vents in the building. The fans, though, we do have fans, they just blow hot air around, and it was blowing his hot death gas into my face, which caused me to puke, as, you know, normally happens in these stories. When my supervisor drone arrived, they blamed me for the execution and destruction of company property. I was thrown down a pit and landed on a giant fluffy flower in the middle of an Amazon-like forest. It was some sort of 
hole in the Amazon. And after learning to hunt and avoid poisonous bugs, I must say, my life is a lot less stressful. I guess I really didn't need that job. I do miss League of Legends, though. Ha! <sighs> Epic rap battles of history. You know, they haven't uh, updated regularly in a long time, and I think that's the right choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my plug, is an absence of epic rap battles of history. They didn't go out on a very high note, no. but I think calling it here, you know, I still have mostly fond memories about them and their content, so let's just let's just call it. Did they stop? They they Pretty basically sure. they, they shat the bed uh, with a season that was really bad. You know, like, yeah. I, I would say more cringe than cool. You know, like, that type of thing. And, like, there were some some good ones, but a lot of bad ones. And then they kind of, like, farted out a few. Like, like basically, like, a sick, a sputtering uh, cadaver getting its last rigor mortis erection. And then they just recently, I guess, uploaded one that was just an ad for Clash of Clans or something. <laughs> where it's like... Oh, my lord. A couple yeah. of kings rap against each other randomly for no reasons, but I get Clash of Clans. So, I think it, it's, it, it's... it's pretty much dead, so... It's sad because, like you said, there was there's some good ones. Uh, the Joker versus Pennywise was great. Eh. Um, Thanos and Oppenheimer, I thought was really good. Eh. But then the rest are just unforgettable. I liked I liked that Frederick Douglass, Thomas, where it was all you know the typical thing about you know Thomas it was Jefferson. all the dream. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> the reward of man. Okay. Anyway, listen. <laughs> proof that you guys don't listen to real hip hop. No, apparently not. Uh, but they, they released, I think it was Thomas Jefferson versus Frederick Douglass, and you can go through the whole thing and not one bit of information, not one iota about Frederick Douglass is used. <laughs> it's just yeah. like all rapping about, you know, Thomas Jefferson, you own slaves, you're a bad person, you own slaves. And it's like, yeah, we know that. We know he was a bad person. Who's Frederick Douglass, though? You might want to teach. No? Okay. Never mind. Yeah, an actual opportunity to both <laughs> lesser known American history. You know. <laughs> anyway, not much thought no, into their content. I I like uh the rapper Dan Bull and I also like Watsky and oh, yeah. the the ones that they were involved in were okay. Uh the other rappers that weren't them were not. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them, yeah. I like I don't know. I, I don't think know. looking back on it just you know, from memory, I think the last good one they did, like passable with all the stand up comedians. Eh. It it was like the last thing where I was like, okay, I can enjoy watching. But then, you know, the rest, it was sort of like, <laughs> I don't They're, know. They definitely started to repeat themselves a lot, with, even with the pairings. Like they did Musk versus Zuckerberg, but that's basically just doing um, uh, Jobs versus Bill Gates. And, uh, and Einstein yeah. versus, uh, I forget Hawking. who now. <laughs> Hawking. Yeah. Talking. Yeah. Yeah. The similarity is that they're all rich white people. I think uh, <laughs> that they are pretty crap. <laughs> they're all people who have been to Epstein's Island. That's the <laughs> except for <laughs> except for uh, Einstein. <laughs> can, can we get um, McAfee versus Epstein? <laughs> oh my God! See, that's the thing. Classic ERB. They would have done that. They they would have like they wouldn't give a shit. And they would have just it would have just been constantly like they would have been rapping like with nooses around their necks, <laughs> like yeah. standing there kicking yeah. each other's stools out. And shit. They what I don't no, get is no like apologies. they left Maker yeah. because they were felt they felt constricted, but they just got more and more sanitized as life went on. So yeah. it's like, eh. oh well. Well, that that's a uh, that's the old use offensive humor and then you get offended when other people use offensive humor yeah. thing mm -hmm. that is just in vogue. All right. 